Hello guys, and welcome it is the SW2 Dude here today, bringing you yet another episode of the How to Get Good series. A series where I go ahead, pick a weapon, use all its variants, and teach you guys how to get good with it. Also, I have the addition of the hand cam to show you guys what's going on with my hands when I'm using X weapon. Now, today we are going to be using the Splat Duelies, which is, I would like to say, the forgotten Slayer weapon, since uh, there was a certain patch in the past where uh, I believe the ink efficiency of this weapon pretty much got nuked. And the ink pellets that hit your opponents also are uh, slightly smaller than they used to be. So uh, due to those things, not a lot of people use these things anymore. But either way, I think this weapon's still fairly strong. It still has pretty good inking, but uh, you just have to be very wary about your ink tank. Now, starting off, we're going to be using the vanilla Splat Duelies, the regular ones. And uh, this we're actually going to do a, somewhat of a kind of a different build. Going to be using a damage build, as you can see. Uh, we've got some main power up on, and we're also going to be using Ninja Squid uh, because it's going to help us get close to our opponents uh, when, you know, the time comes and needs to be. So let's get started and let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, so here we are going into our very first game. It's going to be on Clam Blitz of all things. It's going to be on Port Mackerel and Piranha Pit Clam Blitz. Uh, depends on which one we're going to get. Now, the Splat Duelies has fairly decent range overall. It is a... Four shot kill, but putting on a little bit of damage, it can be a three, uh, depending on how much damage uh, one of your opponents has taken. And uh, one nice thing is that, what's it called? It does have pretty good painting. But as, as I said before, that you have to be very wary about, uh, I guess, the amount of, uh, what's it called? The amount of ink that you have overall. And of course, you've got this special dodge roll thing, which, you know, allows you to paint a little bit more. But of course, it depletes your ink a lot faster. Uh, we actually did kill somebody with the missiles there. I did someone just did see someone just paint over here a little bit. I'm gonna be very careful as I try to get or well, try to approach people. Like I'm gonna majority of the time I'm gonna be trying to use my ink uh, to my advantage just to basically maintain control and uh, also be able to get use out of my ninja squid. Uh, oh, he knew I was there. Oh, <laughs> I tried to. I probably should have rolled back. Uh, in that situation right there. Uh, that would have actually enabled to me to survive and possibly get out of the range of that brother shot. Uh, my teammates have scored here, which is great to see. But what I feel like I'm going to do uh, at this point is just to make sure to make sure mid is painted. Like We can't really relay clams off that, so I don't think it's so necessary. I do see an aerospray spray and a mini splatling. I think I might just chill here or maybe pick up these two clams just in case. Actually, it, it does seem that they're backed up. So, I think in this situation, I'm going to actually build my missiles up. All my... The, well, everyone is right in front of me, so I can see everyone. Try and use this to push up a little bit. I do so too. Right there. Goodbye, my friend. I actually didn't mean to do an extra roll after that, but... Oh, Aerospray is going to die. I'm going to ninja, my, ninja squid my way around here. Oh! <laughs> just out of range. You gotta remember that after each of your dually rolls, there is somewhat of a... Well, there's quite a bit of end lag uh, that you gotta also remember. You can... Like, it's to some certain degree, it becomes pretty non-existent. Like, you forget that it's a thing uh, once you get really, really good with this weapon. But you're just also just gonna make sure that you're within range of people to actually uh, do certain things like that. Now, I did kill that hammer, but... The Umbrella decided to also drop out of spawn. I didn't know he was coming there as well, so... Uh, but it's fine. We're still in out here. And the brother is now dead. It's just the... Mini that's also gonna die with him. Oh. Roll out of that. Cool. Nice to see. Uh, we... Do need to make sure... I need, need to... Where is this brother? There he goes, yeah. I had a feeling that the umbrella was coming out of spawn, so like, I had to kind of remember that, hey, alright, watch for the umbrella. Now, it does seem like everyone is over here. Alright, well, maybe I can lock everyone on. If I had a little bit of special power up, I may be able to do that, but I'll just lock everyone on for now. That's Those missiles aren't pretty... Gonna, well, they're probably not going to do much. It's going to slow the team down a little bit since, uh, you know, they are, at, they're in, they are in the weaker hand right now. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, hammer. <laughs> I'm not scared of those things. Gotta shoot the sides. And... I mean, right now... We don't exactly have 
I mean, just checking by our composition, actually, we don't exactly have anything to actually make our... Well, basically break into that. Like, we kind of have to rely on my missiles doing something, but... Uh, you know, it's, I don't think it's going to be so simple of doing something like that, so... Uh, th this is something that you're probably going to notice me do quite a lot, though. Especially with my dually rolls, is that I'm going to probably do a dually roll uh, for evadance instead of uh, using it for attack purposes because uh it's fairly easy to predict how someone's gonna roll with dually so it's just something that you gotta be mindful of so we did get a couple of kills there which was great it was a great push and i think the decision making there was uh fairly decent Ooh. and i messed up that <laughs> my bad there but it's okay we actually did kill up too uh, I believe right now we can just go back. We've got so much control in middle, so, I mean, all we really need to do is just hold the middle. I mean, we can go for a... Well, I mean, we can score more, a little bit more, if we really want to. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that there was a guy here. I also do have Burst Bomb, but I'm kind of finding myself not using it as much, because I know for sure as soon as I throw a couple, uh, it's going to be a little bit of, of a struggle for me to actually... Uh, well, have any ink in the tanks, and I'm kind of using most of that, uh, mainly for, I guess, the weapon. <laughs> oh, my weapon and the rolling and all that type of jazz, so. And you're probably gonna see that be the case for a lot of my, uh, or a lot of the other weapons I tend to, or, that I'm gonna use, but. Either way, that was a decent push. We're just, my teammate's gonna throw the clam there, and then we're gonna get the power clam in for the, you guys, so. It's a decent first game, it's not the greatest. I might actually do another one, <laughs> so uh, depends if I, want, if I really want to, but eh, it was a decent first game, we'll take it, and uh, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next lobby. Okay guys, so the next duelies we're going to be using is the N. Perry duelies, uh, this is the one with Curling Bomb and Inkjet, so it's going to be a little bit different of how we play this one, since the Curling Bomb is going to allow us to actually get some pushes in and be more aggro and, you know, use our ninja squids uh, to our advantage as well so uh yeah let's get into it using the m parry duelies okay guys so here we are into our next game it seems like we've got a couple of people here which you usually do when you play this game <laughs> just trying to find things to say guys but either way clam blitz so this is actually i mean for this weapon right now the m parry duelies is perfectly fine for uh, both maps because the curling bomb is super helpful for bot macro. You can throw a curling bomb from your side to the other side fairly easily. And this map is totally flat, so I can kind of just toss curling bombs whenever I want. Uh, the only thing that I just have to be very careful of is just how I decide to, or well, how I decide to throw them. Because I mean, there's one thing of being able to have a curling bomb, but you also need to make sure that you have ink after it if you're going to you know decide to engage anyone afterwards so uh my dude just gave me the a power or well, a power clam i kind of want to throw this down and then use inkjet oh oh there's a guy behind us hello <laughs> a, the nautilus was behind us i'm i'm actually pretty glad that one of my teammates actually picked it up but if i i mean if i was still alive that might have been a much that would have been a way better push because i didn't know that the uh What's it called? That the Nautilus was behind us there. But either way, we are actually setting them out. I'm using my Ninja Squid to advantage. Hopefully someone tries to push. It doesn't seem like they're trying to, gonna try and do that. That Nautilus has spawned that pick back in though, so... Uh, gotta be careful about him. Actually gonna try and... Oh, actually, dude, two people have dropped in there. Three people are dropping in here. Oh, rest in peace myself. Uh, that is the splash of Matic. He should die right now. Nicely done. Uh, we are in a perfect opportunity to actually make a clam too, so I'm actually just going to straight away jump to my teammate here. And it seems like we've all killed them all again. It's just one guy. He's just chilling there. The Nautilus is over there too, so I'm just going to roll out of that situation. Uh, toss a curling bomb. If it was a deep, I mean, it wasn't a great toiling bomb, but toss another one, I guess. Maybe we'll get some points in. Uh, too late. Oh, I cannot find this guy. There we go. All right. So it does seem like they're all coming out of spawn again. I just gotta be. I just gotta watch for that. 
Uh, hopefully we're able to build a couple of clams. Seems like this person has dropped in as out of random. Try to look for me. Yep. No, that's not a kill. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised about that, but I mean, I guess that's okay. I mean, I do have, I can outrange this person, so that's totally fine. And you know, it's just, I'm just gonna spam this way since they did score, and we should have a power clam for this. So, perfect timing. I'm just gonna watch for this guy. He's literally right there. Put my clams in. Oh, rest in peace. I really wanted to use my ink gel after that. Uh, but it's totally fine. I mean, we're gonna get those kills in and, and we only need two more clams now. So, our Blob Blob is actually going off here. So, that's great. Uh, just gonna see if I can get close. It does not seem like I'm gonna be able to. Oh, okay. Nautilus. Roll back out. <laughs> okay. I can definitely tell why this is not the most popular dualies compared to like something like the dually sculpture. Because uh, that thing, with the amount of mobility it does have, I mean, this is great and all, but the amount of mobility that the Dooley Sculpture holds, uh, I can tell why people would use that instead for their Dooley rolls, because when you do a couple of Dooley rolls in this, you kind of stay stagnant, and it's just like, it's, it's, it feels very, very easy to pick off. So, I mean, I'm picking my fights uh, very carefully, especially with my Ninja Squid, so... Yeah, trade there, so that's not so bad. I think right now what we can do is just get control of the right side, since it should only just be one guy up. And it's a two, v, two versus one situation in the right in the or in our side of the map right now. Now there's a guy over here. I'm just gonna move my way around. That's gonna be done for the pro. The Nautilus is is doing something, and they're not going to be alive anymore for after that. Now, in the perfect position to use my inkjet here. Oh. No, the pro. <laughs> the pro had good uh, good sighting on me there. I figured I would use it there because it is a pretty awkward position for people to, uh, you know, try and take out an inkjet there. So I figured why not just do it at that position. Uh, might have something, or might have something going there at least. Probably the best next best thing of what I should have done is maybe waited for my uh, my Splash of Junior's armor. Uh, there is a guy right here. Thank you very much. We're looking for the Nor. He's the last person on the left. Easy kill. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and win off that game. So nicely done, my friends. Uh, it was a decent game overall. Like. As you kind of see, we're just, like, we're not using the rolls too much for a lot of aggressive situations, because sometimes it's, like, you've become very slow doing that too much, so. I'm kind of using my Ninja Squid more or less for my, to my advantage, and it seems to be working out for me, or so. Anyways, let's go to the last duelies. Okay, guys, so we're going to be using the final remaining duelies, which is the Cancer Variant. Let's get into it. it. Has suction bomb and baller. It's a favorite from amongst a lot of people. So let's see what we can do with it. Okay, guys. So here we are into the final remaining game uh, using the Kensa variant of the Splat Dulies. Maybe we'll get a new map. Nope. It's all on Piranha Pit today. Totally fine. We use this to. Well, basically, what I'll just do is just try and paint as much as I can as again. Because uh, this weapon can do that. It can paint fairly well, so. I'm just going to go to the left, or not the left. This is totally my right. <laughs> I know my left and rights, guys. Don't question me. All right. Now, there's two people that know I'm there. I'm not going to. There's no way that I can challenge that because it'll just be a 1v2 situation for no reason at all. So, you know, going to take my time here. Uh, no, what? Okay, using the baller for survival here. And my ninja squid at the same time. Just gonna mech up. There's a guy on the left. Oh my god, the curling bomb rush! <laughs> That's a bit of a mess right there, but it's okay. We do need to hold our map control a little bit better than this, though. I think most of our weapons get outranged by a lot of them. I mean, well, they only have an aerospray spray and uh, the Luna, which is the shortest range, but... Uh, that ball point and that, what's it called? 
Actually, no, the range is fairly, the fairly is the same, so it's, what am I talking about? Alright, so... I think what we should do is just try to make sure that we have our map control right here, because we're struggling here. Uh, okay. Okay, we're back in that situation, I wouldn't wonder. Oh, what? That's unfortunate there. There's actually a guy on our spawn. There's a beacon right here so that needs to be taken out. So I think the first thing we should do is just go ahead and do that first. Okay. Check the map, my guys. Check the map. It's very, very helpful. And you can get a lot done uh, by just doing that a lot. Alright. So it does seem like I'm looking at two guys here. One of them being the Luna Blaster. The Luna Blaster is now dead. It does seem like the Aero Spray has come... Come out with the, uh, the Cowling Bomb Rush. I'm gonna be able to get, grab a kill there. I'm just gonna watch for this Luna just in case he does drop here. It does not seem like he's trying to, though. Oh, goodbye. Doing this for survival. And then we can swim back in. Nicely done. Alright, cool. Good stuff. We score a little bit. Go for a little roll here. Maybe we'll get some hits. I can't see anybody. I'm not even really in a good angle to. There we go. Alright, the air spray is now down. Uh, oh, the blue goes right here. Goodbye. Alright. I'm gonna throw my bomb at the wall just to deplete it faster. Probably wasn't necessary at all. Am I hearing things up here? Nope. Okay. We've got a lot of control here. I do have baller, so we can actually coordinate another push if we really wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to be very careful since this Gluger is here and he might try to do something. Uh, I do have my support with my Jet Sculpture here, so we're going to push him out here. He's backed up. He's going all the way around. Pops. Or well, almost pops. I'm out of ink, so literally throwing my bomb just depleted my ink tank just, just like that. As I said before... The, uh, when using your sub-weapon with, with this thing, it literally depletes your ink tank very, very quickly. Now, no kills there. The air spray is almost dead. <laughs> He's one shot. It's a little bit unfortunate there, but it's okay. Uh, we got... Losing a little bit of mid-map control here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bomb. Try and paint. Well, use painting to my advantage, because... Uh, that is this game. <laughs> Normally you don't really go for... Uh, you shouldn't really have to have that kill mentality. Like, it's great to... I mean, it's great to be able to get kills and all that type of stuff. But uh, you can't... You basically cannot do anything or do anything like that without having uh, map control established at all. So, oh. I almost just killed myself there doing that. As I said before, the bullets of this weapon are actually a lot smaller than they used to be. Uh, so getting hit on people is a lot less consistent. Even when it might feel like you're shooting straight at them, sometimes it might... You might... You basically won't. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, but they're trying to do a really good job of trying to paint this up. There's a guy behind us. Oh, that's a Gluga. Gonna pop my baller here. Maybe I might be able to catch him here. No, no baller kills. No baller kills. I mean, there's 20 seconds left right now, so... Roll back. Nicely done. Oh, I'm having right out of ink. There we go. Cool. I was gonna try and perform a roll there. But nothing doing, unfortunately. We're actually gonna score. And we might enable overtime there, but... Okay. That's gonna be... Yet yeah, another... Dually... Something game one. <laughs> I really know how to explain that, but hey, that's another game under the belt. Now, yeah, that's gonna be it. I mean, we didn't do much. Well, we did as much as we possibly could, but still won the game. We did what was necessary. So, yeah, shall see you guys in the plaza. Okay, guys, so that is going to be the episode for today. Now, I'm actually thinking like, I only played three games and they were all fairly successful, but I felt like I could show you a little bit more with the duelies uh, than I did just here today. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do another one of these. Think of it more or less as a part two to how to get good with these spam duelies, because 
I mean, there's a lot of other builds that I can show, and I feel like there's other aspects of the duelies that I can also show, like other aspects of gameplay uh, that I didn't get to show because I only have like a small time frame when it comes to uh, these how to get good episodes. So I figured I'll do another one for you guys to, you know, do all of them again and just give you some more because, I mean, quite frankly, I think that would be kind of nice to have a little part two of uh, one of these episodes just to see a little bit more. So anyways, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the How to Get Good series with the Splat Duelies. Uh, watch out for the second part of the Splat Duelies. It's coming out soon. Uh, I'm literally going to do it now. <laughs> so uh, expect that very soon. And yeah, with all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, for, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button to let you guys know whenever I upload a video. And also consider joining my public Discord, where you can go ahead and talk to myself, my Dude Society community, and it's the greatest place to be notified whenever I do go live for a Twitch stream. So, with all that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I shall see you guys in a future one.